I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a story map of the Transcontinental Railroad. I'm going to come all the way down here at the bottom. I'm going to put two fingers in the center. I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. At each corner, I'm going to put another straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Now, I'm going to draw wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect. Inside, I'm going to write 1869. And I'll explain all of these symbols and dates when we get done. I come over here to the left, I put two fingers, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw straight line, connect. Come back up to the dot. We're going to draw a curved line, curved line, keep going, curved line, curved line. Okay? Now I come over two fingers on the right and I put a dot. And from there I'm going to draw a curved line down on the right, come back to the dot, curved line down on the left. Come back to the right, curve line out, in, leave it floating on the right, come on the left, curve line out, in, leave it floating also. Right where I stop, I draw a slightly curve line out, straight line over, curve line up, connect. All right, right here, in the center. Right about here, let's put a dot. I'm going to draw a curve line over, leave it floating, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down, little curve line at the bottom. Come on the right hand side. We're going to draw a straight diagonal down, connect. Come back up on the top, we're going to draw a curve line over, curve line in, connect, and now we're going to draw a straight diagonal all the way down and connect. On the outside, I'm going to put little tiny straight lines all the way around and stop. Okay? Now, on the right hand side and on the left hand side, we're going to try and do the same things. So notice I said try. So right about here, I'm going to put a dot on the right and I'm going to draw a skinny straight diagonal out. Come back to the dot, skinny straight diagonal out all the way to the edge. One more skinny diagonal all the way to the right. Now I come jump over and I come to the left and I'm going to draw another dot and now I'm going to go towards the left, skinny diagonal out to the left, come down a little bit, skinny diagonal to the left, one more if you can fit it, skinny diagonal all the way out to the left. Okay. Now come in and at the top we're going to just draw some diagonal little straight lines on the left. Jump over. Now we're going to draw little straight diagonals on that top two. Keep going all the way to the right. Okay? Now, starting right here at the edge, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal line over. 
straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect. I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw a curved line, connect. At the top, I draw a straight diagonal out on top, come back right here to the bottom, right here at this point, straight diagonal on the bottom. Right at the top, I draw a curved line, connect. I come up to the top and I draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, little straight line up, connect. Come up to the very top, we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect, and one more straight line down, little straight line, connect. Come back over to right about here. We're going to draw a big curve line circle and then little curve line circles, as many as you can fit. We're all going to end up with a different amount. Okay. Put a little baby circle inside each if you have room. And now we're going to connect this with a straight diagonal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, come back over to this edge, and we're just going to draw a straight line out to the side of the page. Straight line out on top. Little straight line up. And now we're going to put curved line. We're going to have some wavy line over. Come back over here to the front. We're going to draw straight diagonals in this shape. We're going to put a baby circle and then draw another baby circle over that one. Draw me one, two, three curved lines. Come inside this shape, straight line, curved line, straight line, connect. Come all the way over to this part. We're going to put one, two straight lines, straight diagonal up on the left, straight diagonal up on the right, straight line, connect. Right next to it, one, two curved lines. All right. Now, we're going to have to do everything we did here over here. So, let's start with our straight diagonals down. And they don't have to be exact. Straight diagonal down, straight line connect. Because fortunately, these were two different railroads, so they might have had two different engines. Right here, we're going to put a curved line connect. Coming out, we're going to put straight line, straight line, connect. Come over here, straight line up, over, down, connect. Let's draw a little diagonal, straight line, diagonal out, straight line, straight line down, connect. Come inside, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. On the top, one, two straight lines, straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect. And then one, two curve lines. Right about here, we're going to draw that big circle and little circles coming down. Keep going, however many you can fit. Little baby circle inside. Now connect straight diagonals and over. If you have room, two little straight lines out, little straight line out, wavy line. Okay, we're going to put one, two, little curved lines. Let's put a dot and do a spiral in this one. Straight lines, diagonal lines in this space right here. I think that's all. Who knows? All right, some of you can draw way better than me, so you can make your engines look better, but this is just the best I can do. All right, now, starting on the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, down, leave it floating, straight diagonal up, down, leave it floating, straight diagonal up, down, off the page. Right about here, let's just put a wavy, wavy line, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five 
little curve lines and put little baby circles. You can do a little scribble do right there. Come over on the this side. We're going to put a little wavy line there. Then we're going to go one, two, three. These are explosions through the mountains. Put a little baby circles. Kaboom right there. Okay. Now, over here on the right, we're going to draw a triangle. Two straight lines. Straight line connect on the right. Come over here, we're going to draw a triangle. Two straight lines connect on the left. All right, let's see if that's everything I think it is. Okay, now we're going to label. Okay, so we know what we're doing. We're going to write transcontinental, continental railroad because that's what we are drawing, what we just drew. So that's at the top. And what that was was a train from the east was being built, laying tracks from the east. A train from the west was laying track on the west. And they were all going to meet at Promontory Point, Utah. Now I can squish, but I think I'll, on this one I'm going to do it sideways. Promontory Point, Utah. That's where they finally ended up meeting. And this is the Golden Spike which joined both of the tracks together to make the transcontinental. I told you these are explosions because it was tough to get through the Sierra Nevada mountains. So we're going to label those. Um, we did Golden Spike. Okay, and then down here, the unsung heroes are the Chinese workers that came from China to do all of the heavy lifting and explosions. That was Chinese. And then over here with our shamrock are the Irish immigrants that came over and helped build this. And they, a lot of them were Civil War vets, veterans from the war. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're gonna color. Okay, when you make a story map, you don't want to put too much color because then you end up losing all of your design details. So, 1869 I'm going to do in red, the frame, because that's when they finished the actual construction. I'm going to come up and do red arrows because this is important that you know that the transcontinental was an east-west endeavor and this is what joined our country together then on my engines I'm just going to do some red do my wheels a little bit of red now you're going to do this way better than me I'm doing this fast because this is kind of an intense drawing I'm going to jump over and I'm going to do this section red of my locomotive. Put some red on those wheels. Okay. Next I want to do my golden spike. This is yellow. So I'm going to do this all yellow. Some of you might even have gold. Alright. I'm going to do my windows and my little curved lines. Windows, little curved lines. Those will be yellow. Down here for my Chinese workers who used to live restricted away from the other population and that's how we ended up with Chinatowns because we didn't allow these Chinese workers to live next to the big towns which is really awful but what can you do? I'm going to use brown for my explosions. Now see a lot of the Chinese workers were blown up because they were the ones that did all the dynamite. 
and initially they didn't think that they would work out they got 50 workers and they did such a great job they went back to China and got more okay now with my black I'm going to do my engine this will be all black this will all be black some of you who might want to do this more realistically can Google engines from that era and look it up this is all black okay um oh this is coal that ran the engines over here and over here I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to fill in all the space over here my wheels all of this I'm going to fill in both sides okay I'm going to use my blue and do my front part on this locomotive so that you know it's a different company uh, the railroad ties were brown wood so I'm just going to put a, a line of brown over here I'm going to take my gray and do my outside rims okay and like I said you guys will do a way better job this is just getting that color on okay and then I'm gonna do my shamrock green because so many of the people who besides the Chinese they were immigrants from Ireland and they came out they were either veterans from the Civil War or they were actual Irish immigrants from Ireland and they did a lot of the building too now I'm going to take a brown and lightly color in my Sierra Nevada mountains because that was really the big deal was getting through those mountain ranges that's why they had the dynamite and blew up everything next I'm going to do a light loop-de-loop -loop blue on my top now this is a lot to do so I would definitely break it up do one day drawing do one day uh, coloring labeling then down at the bottom just to fill in the space I just did some blue dots for no good reason at all other than I liked the idea of it as a design element okay and like I said you guys can color in way better than me this is just the general idea okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my finished story map for the transcontinental railroad and the whole thing about a story map is that every one of these things that we've labeled will trigger information about the transcontinental railroad so once you get yours done, see if you can tell the story back. Okay, bye-bye.